Welcome back to episode 9 of 4D Def Sailor Dose of Dota. I'm your host, Michael Deficis Plumley, and we're in the middle of a game between VT Gaming and EG Evil Geniuses from the recent ESL New York. This is the finals, game one. And in this episode, we've been focusing on Ember Spirit's mid lane coming out from Super on VT Gaming, and it's been quite a good one. Ember Spirit, on the back of a very solid performance in the laning phase, has amassed. An I have Scotty, a Battle Fury, a Daedalus, and a Lincoln Spear. We're going to hop back into the game and see the thrilling conclusion, the late game. Everybody's coming together. There's team fighting. There's Chain Frost. There's Abyssal Blades from Lycan. There's a Roshan that's fallen three times consecutively to Vici Gaming. But the kill count's still very close. It could go either way. Let's hop back into the game for the conclusion of Episode 9 of Death's Daily Dose of Dota. When we left off, Vici Gaming's super on this Ember Spirit is just huge. The net worth, 23,000. You see the items. You see what he can do to a wave of creeps. But, Arteezy, he spent the whole game farming on this Lycan, not too shabby himself. He also has a Daedalus now, an Abyssal Blade. Continuing to farm. EG Universe has also used his time to amass 5,500 gold in addition to a Demon's Edge. Might be thinking about a Daedalus. But soon he's going to think about it actually is an MKB. Interesting. Good damage. Good bash. I like it. Whereas Arteezy would say, I like it. <laughs> under attack. Anyway. We have the tier two tower falling very quickly Radiance top for our tower heroes has fallen. on Vici Gaming. And they're not gonna stop there, they're gonna continue pressing into the lane to assault this tier three tower. They're on the high ground. The Aegis, however, has expired. The Beastmaster ult is out. Death Ward out as well. But that Mystic Flare quickly eating in to Witch Doctor. Full duration ult getting off though. It will result in a double kill with the help of Nature's Prophet. The Chain Frost going off. But to no avail, Arteezy runs away and dispenses with that quickly. But the real question is, is are they gonna be able to kill this Ember Spirit? Fenrir, porting away. He's gonna use his time to just continue farming up. Super picks up the haste rune. Will rotate to the mid lane himself. Oh, PPD, I don't think you can force this lane out, and he quickly runs away. The Eye of Scotty attack slowing him significantly, and almost one sleight of fist brought him down. 3,000 gold on the Ember Spirit now as well. As with the two deaths, we see EG pushing out all the lanes, Beastmaster, Witch Doctor. We have familiars. And in the top lane, Arteezy just ramming down this lane with his ridiculous amount, 27k worth of damage. And two lanes being simultaneously pushed. How will Vici handle this? It looks like they're just giving up the tier 2 mid to defend this tier 3. But Arteezy, switching to the mid to get this kill. Would have liked this to go to someone else. Middle tower has fallen. Not sure who's going to be able to kill Ember Spirit. Should like and get locked down. Beastmaster, really Lord behind on farm. Only has his old stick. Which I think just uh, increases the cast range. Doesn't even really add a lot of DPS to the ult. But speaking of ults, Witch Doctor did secure his Aghanim Scepter this game. This could be anybody's fight. One of my favorite supports. I play him a lot, get the old stick, and look at it go! Super though, just really farming up this lane. Sleight of fist, eating through the creeps. He's already back up to 4,500 gold. Is mine. FY has an ethereal blade now, that would be very helpful against Arteezy's ridiculous amount of damage that he's starting to put out. And Lich, even a Ghost Scepter for himself, 
we'll definitely be able to cut down on what's really a one-man show. Coming out from EG. We see a rotation into the jungle from Vici. They're pushing out the lanes, but they know they have to come back. Universe pushing hard in the top lane. Porting back to base. That was a Beastmaster ultimate used on Black. Will they be able to secure a kill? Witch Doctor's ult coming out. The primal split will waste a majority of that damage. But it will secure a kill on Ember Spirit. Instant buyback. He has the money for it. He's already back into the fight. Super. Getting low. This could be a dieback. 200 HP, but he's running away. He will get away with the help of that Flame Garden. He's already peppering them again with the Sleight of Fist. He wants to come back in. 400 HP. Another Sleight of Fist is up. It does secure another kill. PPD. He's alone. He only has 2,000 HP. And with the help of that buyback, four kills going way of Vici Gaming. They're going to check Roshan. But the other heroes, for Vici, just pushing down mid. They know this game could be over very soon. Buyback coming out from Lycan. But no buyback is available for PPD. And instead they'll rotate. They'll get the Roshan. I love this patience from the Chinese Vici Gaming. Fenrir reporting back to base to try and stave off this push from the Visage Familiars. And this will be the fifth Roshan, and it will be the fifth of this game going to Vici Gaming. Roshan has fallen to the, the Aegis is on the Ember Spirit now, and I'm not sure EG has what it takes to kill him twice. They almost did it that game. In the last fight, rather. But, with the help of a couple Ghost Scepters, and I think... Yep, an Ethereal Blade coming out for the Skywrath Mage. Make that two now, with the Lich as well. Excellent de-initiation that you can do against the enemy, prevent him from attacking, or on yourself. And specifically, that'll prevent RTZ from attacking on them. And when you have something that, like the Shapeshift Ultimate that really is just going to be needed to secure the kills, if there's an 18 second duration, that's going to be eight of it that could be wasted. Vici using this time to push out the top lane. They know the familiars have been causing a lot of trouble the whole game. But Ember's big. He has his Aegis. He's near six slotted now. And he is doing a ton of damage. But more importantly, he has built very tanky this game with the help of the Scotty. He's dropped his boots. Might be looking to pick up another item. It's a boots of travel. Just thinking ahead in case there is a base race. And it will give him a little extra speed to chase in these fights. Arteezy, you've seen it. 27 net worth. 27,000, rather. To the 26,000 of Ember. He's almost caught up. Radiant and the fight is coming again is under attack. to EG's base. Structures are fortified. We have Universe and PPD quickly porting home. Ember Spirit. Flame Guard is up. Will these be the stuns they need? Great stuns coming out from Fear. But they're not able to claim a kill on Black, and the Death Ward's wasted. The instant de initiation, they're backing up. The Death Ward does not end up claiming any kills, with the exception of Beastmaster. Although that was mostly Universe with the damage there. And they're going to back up. Radiance top barracks are under attack. Thinking if they want to engage again, the Lycan ultimate is on cooldown now, along with the Abyssal Dyer's Blade. Bottom barracks Ember Spirit's attack. gonna port home, farm up this lane, but he left one remnant here to quickly get back into the fight. His other four heroes are here, waiting for him. They want to push in again. Ember's back. Another defensive spirit. The Mystic Flare going off, quickly claiming a kill on Universe. Already? Fear is out of position. Primal split from our Beastmaster. Radiance Instant 300 gold is what those familiars become for a very tanky super. 
they're throwing it with all he's got, but the ethereal blade will prevent the burst damage on him. Lycan, he's running around. He will not get the kill on Ice Ice Ice. Arteezy, he's getting low now. He's gonna have to back off 500 HP. And the Lincoln's being triggered on Ember. His Aegis still lives. And the rest of his team as well. With the exception of Lich, but who cares about Lich? It's all about super this game, the Ember Spirit. The Death Ward wasted. That's another critical cooldown. Scythe of Ice coming out for Visage. But they will not be able to use it to claim the kill, and instead, he may fall himself. Excellent Echo Stomp off on two of the heroes. And this Sleight of Fist is just eating in to our EG heroes. Primal Split coming out. Beastmaster, he's low, he will fall now with the help of another Sleight of Fist. Two seconds. It's off of cooldown again, and this top lane of Brax will fall. It's four Radiance heroes down, they have no buybacks. Spawned. It's just Arteezy. Radiance middle barracks are under attack. The team net worth has really Radiance shot in the direction of Vici with these last few team fights. Radiance and they're going for the tier fours. They know the rest of EG's down for 60 seconds. And with four heroes here, that should be Radiance more than enough time has fallen. to take the throne down. So Arteezy goes in, his ult is popped. He's trying to get ice, ice, ice. He does use the Abyssal Blade and claim a kill, and he instantly runs away. Sleight of Fist, Searing Chains, tying him in place. And he's forced to spend his ultimate running away, and the good game comes out. With 30 seconds left for our heroes. Still on the board. Lycan dies. And that will be a kill. And a secure of the first game of this th three-part series for Vici Gaming. I'm not going to spoil the rest of the series, but that was some inspirational play coming out from Vici Gaming Super. Well, that concludes Episode 9 of 4D Death's Daily Dose of Dota. Today, we focused on the mid-play from Vici Gaming Super on the Ember Spirit. Saw a e very interesting... Lich joining the lane at um, for probably the first 20 minutes to help pull the lane back and just force off the Beastmaster. It resulted in Ember Spirit getting some excellent farm. He got Drums of Endurance, he got his Phase Boots, and you saw the litany of items he was able to amass there. Daedalus, Eye of Scotty, Lincoln Spear, and of course Battle Fury, very core. That's going to conclude this episode of 4D, Death's Daily Dose of Dota. I'm your host, Michael Deficis Plumley. You can find me on YouTube at Def Broadcasting, D E F Broadcasting. You can find me on Twitter, Def Broadcasting. You can find me on Twitch, which is probably where you're watching this, at twitch.tv slash deficis. Till next time, I'm Def, helping you raise your score. <laughs>